first look at Fluid OS version 1.1 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Fluid ROM version 1.1 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. So this is how the about page looks like. Android version 11, security patch, January 5th, 2021. The kernel they are using is Silver Core version 7.8. SE Linux is set as enforcing. Now the build comes in two variants, vanilla and the one with Google Apps baked in. I am using the one which is vanilla. However, I have installed Nix Google Apps because they give me access to Pixel Launcher. And as you can see, out of the box, you do have the Android 11 Easter Egg Cats game working like a boss along with Bubbles. Important point to note is that WhatsApp does not support Bubbles right now. Next up, since we have installed Nix Google Apps, you do have Pixel Launcher as I mentioned earlier and this is how your recents look like. Everything is super fast and super smooth so far. Select, works like a boss, tap on screenshot, bam, screenshot taken, three different options. So you have share, edit and delete. Tap on share, it's going to open the quick share menu. Once you're in the quick share menu, press and hold on any application and you can pin it to your quick share menu as well. Swipe across the screen, you can of course access your Google feed. Everything is super fast and super smooth here as well. No jitters, no lags. Volume panel, this is how your volume panel looks like. You do have the option to expand it along with the option to change between the different ringer modes and using this option here, you can enable or disable live caption. Next up, we can have a look at the power menu. So this is how your power menu looks like. Tap on advanced, you do have your advanced power menu in the building as well. Swipe down to access your notifications. The blur and zoom effect works like a boss along with the option of notification history in case you have enabled it. Next up, we can check out the quick settings panel. So this is how your quick settings panel looks like. Press and hold on specific options. It is going to bring up the option to enable it or disable it at the bottom of your screen as well. Works without any issues for the Wi-Fi option as well. Next up, these are the different options which you have for your quick setting tiles. And yes, you do have thermal profiles, me sound, always on display, caffeine, FPS counter is also there. So here it is, top left of the screen, FPS counter in the building, working without any issues. In case you want to add more quick setting tiles, here are the different options for the other tiles which you can add. Tap on the three dot menu on the top right and the only option you have is to reset. We can also check out Android 11 screen recorder which does let you record screen audio and microphone at the same time. And once the recording has started, we can open the different applications. No jitters, no lags, nothing like that. Everything working without any issues. And while we are still on the home screen, Press and hold, go into styles and wallpapers. Bam, you have three different options. So you have clock, here are the different lock screen clock options which you have on this ROM. Go into grid, you can of course change the grid as well. Tap on wallpaper, here are the different wallpaper options. And yes, you do have the Pixel 5 exclusive Mandalorian wallpapers. And of course, they do work without any issues. Next up, we can head over to settings. We'll go into Wi-Fi and internet. But before that, if you notice, the text here is in blue on the top and it is a bit different from your normal ROMs which are based on AOSP. Next up, we can head over to network and internet, tap on the Wi-Fi name, tap on it one more time, option to disconnect in the center. And you can, of course, choose to auto connect on a per Wi-Fi basis as well. Then we have apps and notifications. Let us select see all applications. We can go into say the Gmail application. Here if you go for permissions, you will see that for permissions you have three different options. And if you go back, you also have a toggle to remove permissions for an application if it is 
not used for some time and that some time is 90 days for android 11. going to mobile data and wi-fi you have per app network isolation so you can now determine whether this specific application has access to wi-fi data cellular data background data vpn data and of course a toggle for unrestricted data usage as well on the main page of apps and notifications you do have priority conversations working without any issues going to notifications you can configure your notification history and of course you can also configure android 11 bubbles as well next up we can head over to battery so in battery of course you will see that you have this pretty cool animation on the top then you also have thermal profiles once you enable it here are the different options which you have for the different profiles which are available in this rom and you can of course choose it on a per app basis in battery saver you do not have extreme battery saver adaptive battery is there and you also have a toggle to enable or disable the battery percentage next up we have display so yes you with android 11 you can configure your dark theme to turn on and off at a custom time in case you want to then you also have adaptive brightness going to styles and wallpapers you can of course change your wallpapers and change the grid as well then you have screen timeout screen attention works without any issues so in case you enable this option and you're looking at your screen the device won't go to sleep then you have a toggle for auto rotate screen going to colors here are the different options no live display in this rom right now then you can configure your font size display size the dpi you have the option for configuring your screen saver going to lock screen over here you can configure your ambient display and always on display do note that now playing is not working right now however always on display along with the options of pick up for notifications raise to wake hand wave all these features are working without any issues then you can configure what all apps you want to see in full screen so you can force applications to work in full screen using the toggles which you see on your screen and this is kind of surprising because i do not see the option for hiding the notch maybe that option you have to use from developer options moving over to sound so in sound you have the toggle to link and unlink notification and ringtone volumes then you can of course configure your screenshot sound as well and me sound enhancer is also baked in and before i forget android 11 do not disturb which can be configured on people apps and alarm bases is present in this build next up we have security so in security you do have fingerprint and you also have face unlock which in this case does use the ir camera on the poco f1 next up we have system in system the first option is gestures we can go into system navigation so you have two different options either you use three button navigation or you use full screen gestures go into settings you do have the option to configure the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge then you can also configure the gesture bar length and you can hide it as well you also have a dead zone option an option which is not present is the option to hide the back arrow then you have three finger screenshot works absolutely fine adaptive playback is also present once you enable it choose a timeout and now let me play a piece of music which i have on my device so let me play this song and as soon as i will reduce the volume to zero you will see that the music will stop playing here it is and if within the timeout period which is 30 seconds in this case as soon as i increase the volume the music will start from wherever it was paused at now an issue with this rom which i saw or noticed is that your media controls in the notification shade they do not work properly as you can see here they're supposed to be somewhere over here but it is coming as a separate notification going back into system and gestures you can also configure whether you want to see device controls in your power menu or not and here are the controls which they are talking about if you have a smart device connected that will also show up in your power menu next up we have developer options so yes you do have wireless debugging in case you want to use the android 11 style refresh rate you have a toggle for that as well and if you want to hide the notch 
then you can use the option here which says display cutout hide it bam notch hidden and as you can see the corners are rounded as well next up we can head over to fluid settings so we'll go into settings fluid customization here is the first option which is themes so you can configure your accent color here are the different options which you have no rgb picker then you can configure your icon shape here are the different options for your icon shape as well system theme is also present and a good part about this rom is that you do get a preview of your icons and stuff over here on the top so right now it is set as default let us try the kai one and bam here it is preview changed icons changed no issues at all next up you can also configure your fonts so these are the different font options which you have and the preview here will also change let us try the rubik one and here it is preview changed then you can also configure your lock screen clock styles now unfortunately when you change the option here the preview on the top is not going to change it remains the same then you have customization for the status bar so for starters you can configure your clock settings do you want to see the clock and date where do you want it left center or right your am pm style in case you want to see the seconds you have a toggle for that as well then you can configure your date as well once you say you want the small font size you can configure the style the format and you can also configure the position of the date next up you also have double tap to sleep on the status bar a toggle for that in case you want to use the old style mobile data icons do you want to see 4g instead of lte do you want to display the volt icon or not data disabled icon roaming indicator and you can also configure what all icons you want to see in your status bar then you have customization for quick settings so the only option present over here is vibrate on touch when you touch the quick setting tiles then you have customization for the lock screen so you have toggles for volume rocker wake lock screen charging info and double tap to sleep anywhere on the lock screen all these options do work absolutely fine and the last option is extras in which you have playback control so when the screen is off long pressing the volume keys will seek music tracks next up we can have a look at safety net so as you can see i do have my disk manager installed my device is not rooted and we can check for safety net there it is safety net is passing out of the box without any issues evaluation type is basic and because safety net is passing that means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues in terms of youtube there are no issues with media playback no jitters no lags picture in picture works absolutely fine live caption also works do not picture in picture either you need youtube premium or if you are in certain countries then youtube picture in picture is going to work without any issues next up we can have a look at google photos so once you've synced your device let us say i try to edit this picture and then if you go into adjust you do have the option of portrait light and as you can see it does work without any issues so that is a nifty feature to have on any android custom rom next up hey google works without any issues when the screen is on and if i turn the screen off even then hey google is going to work so there it is on your screen right now as you can see no issues with hey google even when the screen is off next up we can check for widevine l1 so here it is drm info application as you can see security level is l1 on this rom right now we can now go into prime video application try to play a video or let us say try to download it so as you can see best size is 0.76 gb and when i play it i do not get the option of hd or the text hd here which means widevine l1 is not working on this rom and of course if you have been following my channel you should know that it is poco which is to blame for this and not the rom now in terms of app opening animations here are the app opening animations on your screen right now as you can see everything is pretty smooth there are no jitters no lags nothing like that everything is fine we can also try switching between the different applications here it is no issues to report in that regard as well
and other than that for the limited time that i have been using this rom i haven't noticed any excessive battery drain or anything like that everything seems to be pretty good and all in all another great rom for the poco f1 which is of course running android 11 the only thing which in my opinion they need to fix is the fact that your media controls are not showing up properly in your notification shade other than that everything is pretty smooth and pretty fast and there it is peeps that was our first look at fluid os which in fact is pretty fluid as the name suggests running on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you